The things I love about Uber, they're like daytime parties. Parties that start at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and they're done by 9 p.m. Because everybody in Uber wants to be in bed by 9.30. <laughs> And it's kind of like a sacred thing to people that are very fierce about being in bed at 9.30. Like if you're on a weekend, you want to go to the beach. And you say to your friend, hey, do you want to go to the beach? We're going to be back in Uber like by 10. They're like, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> 10 o'clock? <laughs> in bed by 9.30, we might as well do crystal meth or eat meat. <laughs> you're fucking insane. Thank you. The guys in Uber, the man around here, Lovely man, and some are really special, some stand out to me, and I call them the mystics. The mystics walk around, they usually have shaved in a week or two, with long hair, they wear leather vests, <laughs> boots sometimes, in the tropics, as one does. They've got a tool belt, but without the tools. <laughs> They walk around, and everything the mystics do is a bit slower than normal. <laughs> they connect at a deeper level just by looking around. I would like to see you, but I can't because of the lights. And the mystics are very spiritual because everything spiritual people they do it slowly, very mindful. There's a look and only the mystic can do. And because they're very spiritual, they're a very unique mix. It's kind of like Krishna meets Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the mystics have beards. A lot of men in Bali have beards. And I'm fine with a beard if you're in Iceland. <laughs> we live in the fucking tropics, so it's got 30 degrees all year long. It's great. And it's, it's nothing to do with the fact that I don't grow a beard. Because if I don't shave for five days, I look like Super Mario's little brother Luigi. With a couple of hair sticking out. And I read around, and some people go like, no, no, dude. Women, they dig the beards. They love the beards. The beards are really sexy. A lot of people go like, oh, it's bullshit, you know? You're just hiding behind a veil of facial hair. <laughs> and I don't know, I want to dig into that once and for all tonight. Ladies, please tell me. Just give me a cheer. Who here likes beards? <laughs> See? Fucking no one. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. Guys, go shave. Nobody cares. <laughs> There's another thing in Ubu that's really interesting is things that you can't get. Because we live in Indonesia, we live in Bali. There's things you can't get, things like tampons. And you're wondering, Martin, why are you talking about tampons? Let me tell you why. Because I've got a girlfriend. And once a month, we're celebrating Princess Days. What? Princess days. And if you run out of tampons during Princess days, you're fucked. You don't want to run out of tampons during Princess days, I can tell you that, seriously. So when we go abroad, we come back with an extra suitcase full of tampons. And tampons in Ubu are kind of like, they're little, they're almost like a currency, you know, it's like the next Bitcoin. <laughs> How much for that gold MacBook? <laughs> Four and pounds. <laughs> it doesn't even have a USB port. I don't care. Four and pounds. They're worth it. Thank you very much.